I believe that the tax treatment uh, should be uh, uniform for defined benefits and defined uh, contribution uh, pension schemes, uh, pension plans. I propose to make withdrawal up to 40% of the corpus at the time of retirement tax exempt in the case of the national pension scheme. I propose to exempt from service tax the annuity services provided by the national pension system and the services provided by the EPFO to its employees. I also propose to reduce service tax on single premium annuity insurance policies from 3.5% to 1.4% of premium paid in certain cases. The Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana embodies the assurance of the government to address the housing needs of all and more specifically the poor in a time-bound manner. Construction of housing creates considerable employment opportunities as well. In order to fuel uh, activity in the housing sector, I propose to give 100% deduction for profits to an undertaking, uh, from an undertaking from a housing project for flats up to 30 square meters in the four metro cities and 60 square meters in other cities approved during June 2016 to March 2019 and is completed within three years of approval. Minimum alternative tax will, however, apply to these undertakings. For the first home buyers, I propose to give a deduction for an additional interest of rupees 50,000 per annum for loans up to 35 lakhs sanctioned uh, 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 during the first next financial year, provided value of the house does not exceed 50 lakhs. I propose that any any distribution made out of the income of the SPV by the REITs or the INVITs having specified shareholding will not be subject to the dividend distribution tax. It is proposed to exempt service tax on construction of affordable housing up to 60 square meters under any scheme of central or state government including the PP scheme. I therefore propose that in addition to the DDT paid by the companies, tax at the rate of 10% of the gross amount of dividend will be payable by recipients, that is an individual HUF and firm, receiving dividend in excess of 10 lakh rupees per annum. I also propose to raise the surcharge from 12% to 15% on person other than companies, firms, cooperative societies having an income of rupees over rupees 1 crore. I also propose to collect at source at the rate of 1% on purchase of luxury cars exceeding a value of 10 lakhs and purchase of goods and services in cash exceeding rupees 2 lakhs for compliant taxpayers with resources this levy will not only advance collection of taxes when expenditure is incurred, but it provides data to the tax authorities to identify the persons who incur such expenditure but may be missing from the tax base. I propose to impose a cess called the Krishi Kalyan cess, that is 0.5% on all taxable services, proceeds of which would be exclusively used for financing initiatives relating to the improvement of agriculture and welfare of farmer. The cess will come into force with effect from 1st of June 2016. Input tax credit on this cess will be available uh, for payment of this cess. The pollution and the traffic situation in Indian cities is a matter of concern. I propose to levy an infrastructure cess of 1% on small petrol, LPG and CNG cars, 2.5% on diesel cars of certain capacity and 4% on other high engine capacity vehicles and SUVs. Articles of jewellery, excluding silver jewellery, other than studded with diamonds and some other precious metals with a higher exemption and eligible limits of rupees 6 crores and 12 crores respectively. Necessary steps will be taken to enable the new taxpayers to comply with this levy without any difficulty.